Hello. This video will demonstrate the two important steps that an authorized agent must take when submitting a permanent application on behalf of a contractor. After logging in, to submit an application, navigate to the Apply menu option. You may type the permit type that you're looking for, or you may select it from this drop-down list. The next step is to read and acknowledge your agreement with all of the acknowledgement statements displayed. Next, provide a detailed job description scope of work, including any subs, trades, involvement with the job. Your login account information will automatically appear for the applicant information. The applicant will be the primary contact unless changed on the contacts list. You may add the contacts list other parties involved with the permit, such as the owner, an architect, engineer, office assistant. Note, all contractors and private providers are entered on the next page, the contractor page. There are two types of agent roles on a permit. If you are an agent authorized for just one permit, you must only complete and upload the agent authorized for one permit form found on the building forms website, you may then add the contractor. Do not adjust the toggle below. However, if you are the agent authorized by the contractor, by submission to the contractor licensing department, the agent authorization form, then please be sure to move this toggle to the right. Next step is to add a contractor. You may put in that contractor's ID number or search for a title or the qualifier name. Be sure when you are searching that you select someone that has an active status. The system will not let you move forward with a permit application if the contractor is not active you will need to make sure that the contractor updates their information with the contractor licensing department as soon as possible so that the application can move forward. Once selecting the contractor, the second most important toggle to acknowledge is right here, your applicant role as the authorized agent. Be sure to click this, select Done, and you will display as the authorized agent for the contractor you have selected. Continue completing the application by identifying the property, providing permit application details, uploading your attachments, reviewing your entire application, and seeing any application fees due at the time of application. Thank you.